Welcome to the Valley Today. I am your host, Janet Michael. Um, Sally Michaels is here with me. She's with the Frederick County EDA. But before we get started with Sally, although we've already started and are giggling in the studio already, um, I want to remind you, we did get our Donahoe's flowers this morning. Sally was very excited because she came in and, and wanted to take them and run back to her car, but I stopped her. <laughs> I told her she couldn't take them today. They're beautiful. I don't know what the roses are. They're like a salmon. But they're orange. aren't they gorgeous? So there's a picture of them on our Facebook page. Um, Donna Hose brought them. It's a very fall looking arrangement, and and fall officially starts on Saturday. So we put them up on our Facebook and want you to go tell us what you're most looking forward to with the change of the seasons. And then by four o'clock this afternoon, we'll look at all of the responses and pick which one we like the best. And then you get to come in and pick up the flowers and have them to enjoy in your house for the next couple of weeks. And I say couple of weeks because these things last forever. Donna Hose is amazing with the flowers that they use because there have been times when somebody here has decided, oh no, we're not giving those away. I want those here. But then we forget to take them home. And the next week the new delivery comes and the old ones are still sitting here, but you can't tell which ones are a week old and which ones aren't. They're just, they're gorgeous. So kudos to you and call Donna Hose and order you some flowers. <laughs> Sally's shaking her head. She really wants them, but she's going out of town. So. You should have. Well, I thought maybe they put the orange in there for you. Uh, well, they do try to do that every once in a while. But then I think their concern is then I take them all home and then we don't share because I'm, I'm not very good at, at sharing my toys in the sandbox. <laughs> They're gorgeous. But you have a ton of stuff to share because you were here a couple of weeks ago. We were talking about a bunch of different things that's going on with Frederick County um, EDA. One of the things that was coming up then that you were kind of still in the planning stages for was Manufacturing Week. And now you've kind of dotted your I's and crossed your T's and have a whole lot more information. So you're going to give me more details about that today. Yes, some development since the last time that I was here. And thank you for always welcoming me back. Um, the workforce initiative is not just Frederick County EDA, it's Winchester EDA, it is businesses, it's our um, local resources like Department of Aging and Rehabilitative Services, the BEC, it's all of us working yeah. together. Guy Curtis at uh, Workforce, yeah. uh, yes. so workforce Solutions. Yes, Workforce Solutions. There's several members from Workforce Solutions that are involved with the initiative. So it's all of us working together towards a workforce yeah. <laughs> to <laughs> creating, tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> right, uh, but manufacturing day is October 5th and we didn't start small we have manufacturing week that will be October 1st through October 5th and some of the developments since I was here last time the online videos now originally we had started out K through 12 we were going to offer these um, for classes to view while they were together in school these will be posted for the public as well but the companies that are participating can get a glimpse of what it's like inside their facility Monoflow International M&H Plastics Riviana, which is New World Pasta, ah. Fast Signs, Winchester Metals, and Barrett Machine. So those are the online videos, and, you know, they're a few minutes long. So in the classroom, watch them, you know, in a series or every day, watch a few minutes, but it gives you, it's kind of broad um, as far as what they do. Just gives you an idea of, of the product they make, How what they types make of it. jobs are in there. Yeah, and some of these videos they're talking about you know, the ladder, the career ladder, how did I get here? Which we always talk about when I come visit. But yes. everybody should be talking about that. <laughs> so this whole thing is, it's kind of a combination of the public can participate and see what's going on, but it's also geared um, towards students and, and the kids in the school system. So they get a sense of what jobs are out there that they don't necessarily, A, have to go away to college. And if they do, you want them to come back or they could immediately enter the workforce. They could go to Lord Fairfax and get, you know, some continuing education while they're working in some of these jobs. There are a lot of options out there, and that's kind of your goal is to make sure they understand what all those options are. Right. Options. All the options. And we have to be careful when we say college. That means many things. Yes. That's classes. That's credentialing. Yeah. That is associate's degree. That is bachelor's degree. So college is a great idea. Everybody will continue to learn throughout their life. So high school diploma doesn't mean you're done. Right. When you land your job, you will always be, <laughs> you know, recertifying getting credentialing, whatever. Um, but yes, it, it started out with K through 12, the National Manufacturing Day, just making our youth aware because we are losing so many of our manufacturers. They're going to be retiring in the next 10 years and who is going to take over. And so the idea was show them the prosperity. This is where the innovation is. It's mm -hmm. very exciting. Um, and so we want to show our youth and by doing a week full of, <laughs> of manufacturing <laughs> events. Stuffed full. Right. <laughs> Uh, of 
the online tours. Student tours will happen during that week, during the week. It's October 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, so our students go on site to two different facilities. Um, and that's important for parents to know that this is something their kids are going to be doing at school because then it gives them the opportunity to have that conversation with them when they get home. And I'm guessing that some of these parents, probably a lot of these parents, may work in some of these facilities, but the kids have no idea what mom or dad do when they truck off to work in the morning. They just know mom drops them at school or says goodbye to them as they're waiting for the bus, and then they come home and they fix dinner and they go back to their family life. They have no idea what mom or dad might do at some of these places during the day. That's right, and I hope that families are having those conversations. And in my family, we've been surprised with, you know, a, a girlfriend or somebody's best friend works at this facility. What do you mean they make my almond milk? I had no idea. And you've got eighth graders that are carrying on a conversation in the back of the bus <laughs> about this, which is fantastic. Yes. That's organic. It needs to be happening, and we're trying to make that happen through our initiative. Um, one thing I was going to mention is with the public open door tours we have the video tours mm -hmm. that you will be able to go online and watch but we have open door tours so go in person and i'm sure janet will be at these because two of them are breweries yes <laughs> but on friday october 5th the public has the opportunity to go into winchester brew works fast signs broken window brewing company cochran's lumber lord work lord fairfax workforce solutions they want to show you the trades lab those, Winchester that's Metals. so cool. Guy keeps promising me a tour, but he and I can't ever connect our schedules. But they have, like, simulators and all kinds of stuff there. They ha It's huge. Yeah. It's amazing what they have. So, Guy, Janet's going to show up with her beer. Yeah. Uh, well, no, reverse that. You'll have to go first because they're 8 to noon, and then you go get your beer. <laughs> but those facilities are open to the public. You don't need an appointment. We're going to have signage up. Um, and certainly you can check out our site and find out the hours as well as the address. Walk in. Take your child. Children that go on tour should tell their parents, take a work group and go yeah. see what is happening locally um, because you don't know all the products no. that are being made. Well, locally. and even if you think you do, you may have known what they do, you know, in some cases 15 years ago. That is not at all how a lot of these places work now. Um, I mentioned Guy Curtis earlier. He was here last week with Carlene Hurdle, who is their workforce director at the Falkir campus. And she was telling me about how things have changed in manufacturing and that it's not as physical as it used to be, that a lot of it now is done with computers and technology, that if you're a gamer, you're in, you're in eighth grade and you love playing video games, a lot of these manufacturing jobs now use the little controllers and you have to pre-program and things like that. That's a great example. Uh, and some of the things that we like to point out um, about the manufacturing industry, right now, one of the biggest needs is mach machinery mechanic. And we show what type of education do you need beyond high school? Is there some college? Is there a type of associate's degree with that? What is the pay with that? That's the thing that people don't realize either. I mean, you do some of these credentials that Guy offers over at Workforce Solutions. Um, he was saying on Thursday, you can get a 21, if I hope I get these numbers right, 21 to 58% increase in pay by doing some of these credentialing programs that take less than six months and all but maybe a third of it is covered through grants and sometimes the employer pays. Right, if you qualify yeah. and there are grants available. So as I love that... Um example of gaming and using mm -hmm. a, a joystick or something to work in manufacturing it is different i say often it's not laverne and shirley manufacturing it is very clean it is very innovative um, and that is where the money is at frankly um, so this this job industrial machinery mechanic just for the lord fairfax region so okay. the service region uh entry level of thirty seven thousand six. okay and then you compare that to an experience of 54,000. Now, somewhere in the middle. Yeah. You, it's what are you good at, right? Mm -hmm. How well do you do the job? You're going to fall somewhere in between there. You can't always look at the starting and the ending. People are saying, oh, robotics are going to take over. In some ways, you still need people that are going to mm -hmm. design it, build it, program it, maintenance it. Fix it. Yeah. <laughs> all of these things. We need people. Yeah. And manufacturing is hurting. So that, that's one of the reasons we've done the whole week of manufacturing. Yes, we, we have healthcare needs and we have construction needs, um, but manufacturing is big in our area. And well, and when you were here last time, you were talking about all of the cool stuff that gets made right here, you know, in, in a lot of cases in Winchester that we don't even know is getting made right here, which is so cool. Mm -hmm. If you're out on your back deck, tracks, yeah. drinking a Coke, 
yeah. bottles are made here. <laughs> or the little Capri Suns. No, yeah, the is that Mio's? right? The, yeah, yeah Capri-o, those little things. Capri yeah. Suns and the Mio's. But you could be having pasta, San Giorgio, made here. See, I know. Nero pasta. Yeah. I, I, that that's what's so cool to me. So if somebody wants more information about Manufacturing Week, I know you have a website that they can go to that gives them where all of the tours are happening. It's going to tell okay, them all of that Okay, so here's what I would love for people to do. There is a National Manufacturing Day website, and they have a map with little red dots. So when you pull up Virginia, you will see red, red all over the place. And our area is the only one doing an entire week's worth of events. Well, of course. So it's worth looking at. So <laughs> that is mfgday.com. You know, it's pretty bad when I know where you wrote that I down know. in your notes and I'm like flipping it over. <laughs> and they want us to use the hashtag mfgday18. Perfect. Uh, so EDA, Frederick County, will be sharing all that week in two weeks um, stats like, hey, we've got a certain percentage of our workforce that's health and social services. We've got this percentage awesome that's manufacturing okay out of the labor force of and i'll put it all up 000. on on our website too so i'll share it perfect. thank you all right i want to talk about wow so we'll do that when we come back that's just around the corner as well so we're in the studio today with sally michael she's with the frederick county eda i am janet michael and you are listening to the valley today expecting to hear a commercial well, that's kind of what this is. First, I want to thank you for listening to the Valley Today podcast. You're one of many who listen to the show this way. Sometimes it's because our listeners didn't know that if they're away from the radio, they can still listen on our website, via the TuneIn app on their phone, or even on Alexa. We're also available in the Apple Podcast app and the Google Play Music app. Sometimes our listeners are just busy and they want to listen when it fits their schedule. Or maybe it's a guest of the show who want to hear what they sounded like when they were on the radio. We even have a few binge listeners who listen to a a week's worth at a time. So if you want those people, your potential customers, to hear your message, your ad could have been here. And the bonus, your commercial isn't restricted to just 30 or 60 seconds. You can take up to two minutes to talk to those customers. There's even the opportunity to be the exclusive sponsor of the Valley Today podcast, which gets you on-air mentions at the end of every show. If all of this sounds interesting to you, give me a call at the station, 540-635-4121, or send me an email to Janet at at the river 953.com you can also find all of my contact info by searching janet michael on our website at the river 953.com so do one of those things get in touch and let me tell you how we can talk to those customers in this podcast every single day and now back to the show Welcome back to the Valley Today. I am your host, Janet Michael, and this segment is brought to you by Valley Health, offering the latest minimally invasive surgery advancements. You can learn more at valleyhealthlink.com slash M-I-S. And speaking of advancements, Sally Michaels is here in the studio with me today. She is with Frederick County EDA. We were talking about all the advancements in manufacturing. Manufacturing week is just around the corner. It's the first week in October. Public tours, online tours, uh, tours for the kids. Everybody should get involved to find out what's going on. And you never know, your next dream job could be right around the corner. How about that? You want me to do your promo for you? I'll do your promo. I'm sure it is right around the corner because <laughs> some of our these employers, the manufacturing employers, I mean, you're talking health care. Yeah. Paid vacation. They pay education in a lot of cases. Yes, Even they if do. you do, we talked, you know, about that coming right out of high school. A lot of times you get in the door and you then get them to pay for you to get these credentials and to further your education and everything else. I mean, it, there's bonuses all over the place. That's right. And they're looking for good people. So parents need to be asking themselves, you know, what are their kids like? What are they good at? Yep. What's the appropriate next step post high school? Well, and that kind of brings us into the next segment where we're going to talk about WOW, because I, until I got involved um, last year, was my first experience with WOW. I never understood why you're looking at kids as early as seventh grade. Seventh grade? I would think, oh, no, this is something you need to be talking to high school kids about. But that's not the case. I mean, these kids are deciding at a much earlier age kind of what they want to do. They're formulating those plans, and they're figuring out what they want to be when they grow up. They are. I don't know if they're deciding or wow. exploring. Yeah. So we could revisit at 10th grade again and say, hey, what, you know. Yeah, do you want to do that are twice you still a on year? That, on that path? <laughs> so the idea of 7th grade, and it does sound early, don't be shocked and fall out of your chair, but they're backing it up even to 5th. Really? Grade. So 7th grade, per the Commonwealth, uh, our kids need to know what course they're on, 
why are they doing that? Because in 8th, ninth, and 10th grades, they're doing electives. They're already doing their prep work. Right. Am I taking these sciences because I'm going to be a veterinarian, or am I more interested in, you know, math or something else? Fixing machines or yeah. creating something. So what is WOW? Give me the background on that. WOW is the worlds of work, plural worlds. We have 10 work worlds that will be represented October 24th and October 25th. We bring through 3,000 seventh graders. It feels like 3 million. It does feel like 3 million. <laughs> it sounds like 3 million. Uh, but 3,000 will go through <laughs> and participate in hands-on activities. They have to be job demonstrative. So Valley Health takes over an entire side mm-hmm. of an arena. You are uh, looking at pig heart and lungs. You're stitching. You are counting out medication. There is physical therapy. There's x-ray. It really does give the kids a hands-on sense of even if they think this might be something they want to do, you don't know sometimes until you try it. And this kind of gives them, oh, okay, this is exactly what I thought, or whoa, this isn't at all what I thought. I need to look at another option. Right. And some of the best stories are from the CTE educators that talk about uh, kids that wanted to be veterinary. (laughs) <laughs> Either a text or a vet, and then they get into a situation and they pass out. And they realize it's not just petting and playing with dogs and kittens right. and puppies all day. <laughs> Far more gross than that. Um, so it wasn't for them, and this would have been great because they would have been able to explore and maybe realize that yes. sooner. The other bit of that is not so much of uh, what I think it's going to be, but maybe I'm exposed to something that has never even dawned on me, Yeah. right? Something out there that I didn't know existed. So, explorethewow.com. I would encourage parents to go check out the video. You can see the scope Mm -hmm. of the event. Um, You can put it on mute uh, (laughs) if you have to. Um, But the participants, pretty much all of our exhibitors that were there last year and the year before and the year before will be here again. This is year four. Oh, wow. Year four. Yeah, see, last year was my year one, so it all started last year. It's okay. (laughs) And it just keeps getting better and better. So, our kids get a booklet ahead of time. And that booklet features the 10 work worlds. It breaks down what the jobs are within that world, that industry. Mm -hmm. And we do salary, both entry and experience, by hour. Yeah, because that's how the kids think. Right, because $30,000 is not really a fantastic salary to have your iPad and a car and a family (laughs) on. Um, So they need to know that. I mean, entry level, it's where you want to start, right? But... um, you're probably going to need two incomes with that. So it's eye-opening. So they get that booklet ahead of time. They do some pre-work in the class, um, whether it's, you know, I, I wasn't, I don't even know what this is. I'm defining something, or I think it belongs in this world. Um, we show the pathway. This is the type of education that you might be looking at. Um, so like I said, they do pre-work. They come to the event, and a lot of them do post-work as yeah, well. Yeah, because the teachers give them homework and have them write about or talk about what they learned and did something change their mind or did something new occur to them. Right. Yeah, it, it's a great experience. I mean, it, it was it's an exhausting two days for the exhibitors, which is what we were. But it is, it is so um, heartwarming to see these kids who are excited about what they're going to become. And in some small way, you feel like you're a part of shaping that kid into something they're going to do. So um, I tell you what, let's take a quick break. When we come back, can you give me the details for how other people can be an exhibitor if you're already full and maybe some tips for the parents to have that conversation with the kids, snag that booklet and look at it and kind of go through with it. Can we do that when we come back? Of course. Awesome. Well, we're going to be back in just a few minutes. Sally Michaels is here from the Frederick County EDA. We have been talking about manufacturing. We and just now um, explore the wow. We're going to talk more about that when we come back. I am Janet Michael, and you are listening to The Valley Today. There's always more to the story. At the River 95.3, that's what our new podcast, Another Look, offers. A deeper look into the news stories you hear about every week. I'm Dylan Nichols, news director at the River 95.3. Join Janet Michael from The Valley Today and I as we review news from our area, as well as some odd news stories from around the country. You can find another look on the river953.com and listen to our take on the news whenever, wherever. Another look offering you a weekend review with a twist. You can find a new one every Friday in the Apple Podcast app, in the Google Play Music app, or online at the river953.com. Welcome back to the Valley Today. I am your host, Janet Michael, and this segment is brought to you by Valley Health Urgent Care. Can't wait to see a doctor? Now you don't have to. You can even check in online and save time at vhurgentcare.com. 
So we've got a couple of minutes left in the studio. Sally Michaels is here from the Frederick County EDA, and we've been chatting about Manufacturing Week. Um, there are going to be online tours, in-person tours open to the public. The kids are going to get to take some tours. Um, but then we were talking about the kids and Explore the Wow, which I think is a phenomenal program that you guys have been putting on for the last four years. Seventh graders from, like, every school system – from, from everywhere. I mean, you're pulling from Page County. It's all Winchester, Frederick. It's Clark. It's Warren. Shenandoah. Rep, Shenandoah, Rappahannock. Rappahannock. I mean, so there are kids coming from everywhere. Um, and the important thing, I think, is, and they were literally that day are coming from everywhere, trust me. Um, but the important thing is to have the conversation with your kids, whether it's right before the event or right after hey, what do you think you want to do? I mean, you were sharing with me during the break that your son was telling you, you know, Mom, I'm not really sure I want to go to college. I'm not a, I don't really like school. I don't really think it's for me. What do you say to him in those situations? Well, he did say exactly that. And I said, (laughs) okay, that's okay. We're going to figure out what you want to do. We know kind of what you're good at. What are some classes maybe you could take towards that goal? But it's, don't stress out. He was very anxious about it well and i think that's why things like wow are going to be so great for this next you know upcoming generation is it does give them that hands-on experience to kind of see that you know if college isn't for you it's not for you but that doesn't mean you're gonna be homeless and living with your parents and and not have a job college in a different way yeah college is classes credentialing it's it's you know evening classes while a grown-up 50 year old is deciding to change their career right they work all yeah. day and they go to school so what i want parents to do even grandparents aunts uncles godparents um, we survey our kids we survey the educators as well as the exhibitors at wow and last year the feedback that we got from the students was they will definitely share this experience with a parent or guardian that was 84 percent great 98 percent of them loved wow and 87 percent got an idea a career idea from that. Uh, the educators say, yep, absolutely worthwhile, and it's a great age level. That was 98%. 100% of our uh, exhibitors would recommend this to a colleague. Oh, yeah, absolutely. A different, yeah, someone else to come um, and participate with us. So I would say to parents, go to the explorethewow.com, the booklet that the students get. It might be dog-eared or it may never make it home. It could be in <laughs> pieces. We have that online. It's a PDF. So go look at it. Um, You don't have to read the whole thing. Just find the industry that they think they're interested in. Um, There are some great resources that are listed. Um, Well, and there are a lot of times that we as parents, sometimes, you know, we we joke that we know our kids better than they know themselves. But in a lot of ways we do, we can see from the outside looking in what they're good at, whether they are, you know, are good at math or they do the video games and, you know, I can't operate the drone that I have, but, you know, Josh, I hand it over to him and the next thing you know, it's flying all over the place and and everything. But we can kind of help guide them and see, hey, did you ever think about this? Because you know you're really good at. That's the kind of conversation. Absolutely. Parents and educators. Educators, it's eye-opening as well. They walk in here and, oh, when someone comes to me and they share something they're interested in, I might be able to broaden that. Yes. And then send them to the counselors. And it's just, we're all in this together. And I joked with you during the break that I always found the easiest way to have a conversation that was more than 30 seconds long with my kid was to take him out to dinner because he can't escape when you're sitting in the restaurant. He's got to sit there and let you finish the conversation because I have the keys. You should definitely go to TGI Fridays or Tropical (laughs) Smoothie because both of those places are sponsoring Uh, our WOW lunches. Nice way to work that in. So if somebody is interested, parents are listening, where can they go to get more information about WOW? ExploreTheWOW.com. And that's easy enough, and everything is there. Um, And then just ask your kids, you know, leading up to what are you most excited about checking out? And then when they come home that day, you know, kind of let them decompress, but then put them in the car and take them to TGI Fridays and say, so tell me about your day, and how was this? And if you've read the booklet, you can already ask questions, so you're not getting the eye roll. Gosh, Mom, I already told you that once. Yeah, there was a little peek into what my world was like. (laughs) It's the same for all teenage boys. And if you are a business and you haven't signed up for WOW, we have a little bit of space left. Awesome. We'll happily fit you in there. Fantastic. Well, we are going to wrap up today's episode of The Valley. Today, Sally Michaels has been here from the Frederick County EDA. Um, Head over to our website in about an hour. You'll be able to listen to this podcast again, and I'll have links for everything that we talked about today as well. I hope you'll meet me back here for a brand new episode of The Valley today, tomorrow. Gene Plotter is coming by to talk about a rotary event, so I will meet you back here then.